We say it each year, this is the year I'm going to be financially healthy. And by the second weekend of the new year, we're back to our old habits. Well, Suli Richardson of Desert Financial Credit Union is here with five healthy habits to get us on the right track of our money. So how are you? I am well. How are you? I'm so happy to have you in person. The last couple of times we <laughs> talked over Zoom and stuff and now I have... Zoom's it. fun, but it, not like this. This is really good. <laughs> and so I'm glad you're here with me because I literally said um, on January 1st, um, I well actually the 31st, I said I'm going to go into the new year with money in my bank account. Like a good good enough. <laughs> you know, it was going to be over over $2.50. And I did it. Two dollars and fifty cents. I did over. I, no, I did oh. over two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, you only had two dollars. No, no, I had more. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not gonna lie. In the past, I've gone into the year either negative oh. or or kind of like just a little bit of money. But this year, I went in very positive. But I need to keep these habits going, uh, which is so important. Look, she's <laughs> clapping for me. And, and what's great about Sulia and Desert Financial Credit Union? Uh. This is open to anybody. So yes. we're we're talking to all you out there, even if you're a member or not member. So let's get this right because I know a lot of people are talking about getting there so let's start off right now with um, live below your income <laughs> you know that's powerful and a lot of times we don't because you know the more money you make what do you want to do spend more right I'm gonna upgrade so we live beyond our, our income and a lot of things play into that but learn to live below your income yeah yeah. So you have, let me, I'm looking here going the 50, 20, 30 rule. Yes, what, there's a what is 50, that? 20, 30 rule. So with your expenses, 50% should be for need. Okay, darn. Right? I was going to say for, <laughs> for going out. 50% for going out should be for things that you apps that you need. Okay. And then 30% uh, is for, for your wants. And then 20% is for your savings. That's a good formula. So for the person that they don't know, you know, like how to manage, you know, what percentages should be allotted to certain expenses. That's a very good rule to follow. All right. I like that. <laughs> and so 50%. All right. We'll have to work on that one. <laughs> you know that. There's, there's room. There's help. Okay. This is one that everyone tells me, don't do this because it's going to like really ding you. But pulling your credit report you need to do that right you need to do that so when we pull our credit of course this doesn't ding us when you go apply for a loan it does but go to annualcreditreport.com and you can pull your credit report actually because of COVID weekly or free okay <laughs> no ding <laughs> that's important there and see that's why I was I was always told when you go to get your credit report it dings you but you just said no you no do for loans when you're doing or, it no so all right I like that okay um I'm back. This next one is going to get me. <laughs> Pay the minimum for credit and debit cards, not the maximum? No. So what that... So... Uh, what I'm saying is pay more than the minimum. Oh, so pay when more than the minimum. Your, okay. When you're making your payments, a lot of times people will only pay, if it says 40, you pay 40. Okay. If it says 40, pay 50 or even 60. You don't want to pay just the minimum. Okay. It takes you a lot longer to pay it off. Um, when you pay that extra and you paid, you know, on that due date, it's going toward the principal. So who gets paid first? The if you. The bank and the stuff, bank. everybody yeah. does that. So right. that's why it's so important. So, pay okay. down the principal balance. That's why I'm looking. Okay, that's what I was, I, was, I thought, pay the minimum. Oh, yeah. No, get beyond the my, minimum. Get on the minimum. Okay, I like that. Get beyond the minimum, yes. So, all right. Okay, um, as we're looking here, pay down the balance, uh, and it's faster, and it gets you out of debt quicker, which yes. is so important. Yes. And I like that one. Okay. Um, organize your financial records and files. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of that can be with just being automated. You know, we live in a world right now where technology is taking over everything. And you can, if you automate your payments, that'll help you to not miss payments. Um, get organized just with your records. We know that in a couple of months, it's going to be tax time. Exactly. <laughs> Let me ask you about the about automated, because I feel I get in trouble with that. Because I, I don't know why. They take it out sometimes before they're supposed to or, or that window there. So yeah. how do we figure that out? Because like, say for instance, if it's supposed to be out on the 26th, they take it out on the 25th or 24th, I've noticed. Yeah, so when people are living that close to the edge, you might want to fluff your account a little bit and not just have the bare minimums, the bare minimum. You know, living kind of close to your paycheck, yeah. I would suggest, um, Separating up maybe your checking account a little bit, yeah. like have a checking account for your true bills and then have the one for the fluff fluff, you know, the play money. Play company. money. All right. That'll help you kind of manage that better. That'll be a bigger one. So, all right. 
Um, this is the biggest one that I've been told over and over and over and over, and I need everyone to listen to this, but build up for emergency. Yeah. And I, I didn't realize that until actually, you know, a car accident happened, things happen, and, and you Life to, happens. Yeah. Right? Financial shocks, things right. that you're not, uh, not expecting. So um, I know that's kind of hard when you tell somebody you need to have three to six months of your living expenses. That's difficult for a lot of people. So my spin on that, if you can start to get at least one month extra of your rent or your mortgage, you know, that's probably something most of us can accomplish. You get that one month, yeah. then you go for a month too. And that's how you kind of change your behaviors to work up to that three to six months. So I like it. Work. it. Suli, I'm so Slowly. glad you're here. Slowly. <laughs> um, and I, I want everyone to understand this because I've been getting this excuse from my kids, but they can save. They keep saying, well, I don't I don't have enough to save and I'm in money to save. That's why you want to get a hold of Suli and her team <laughs> and talk with them because they will they will squash every one of those excuses on why you oh, yeah. can't save. Oh, yeah. And that is where maybe you don't need three Starbucks in one day. Maybe you don't need this. It's exactly. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Suli, tell them where they can find out more information about the financial uh, guidance that you guys so offer. DesertFinancial.com. Go to our search field and type in the foundation. We have a list of upcoming webinars, and they're free every month online. Yeah, perfect. And you got to check them out. And Suli's amazing. Suli, thanks for being here. Thank so you. Appreciate it.